So this is the second part of the tutorial where I'll be explaining how to use the Clue 3D file. So first of all, let us open our file in Clue 3D. So this is the T-shirt file here, the Clue 3D file. So this is our Clue 3D shirt. So it has been fully um, designed and um, also been um, textured with the right fabric you get. So this is it here, it's looking thin. So you can just select here and select this to make it look thick. As you can see, this is it here. So if you have any graphics you want, you want to place, sorry, if you have any graphic you want to place on this design or you want to just change the color of the design, you can always do that by selecting the graphics and so on and selecting any color you want to place on the graphics on t-shirt same for these two we can do the same thing so that's just it and you can add your graphics i have tutorials that will explain how to use clue 3d as a beginner so this is it here so you don't need to design any pattern everything has been placed here properly also on the uv editor everything has been arranged <coughs> properly so now let's move to the animation aspect because this mock-up design you've purchased contain a working animation of a character it's this character here so first of all let's de delete this um character here or this avatar then we will add the avatar i'm coming let me change this to the normal default so then we'll add we'll import our um <coughs> character or avatar obj the a post first what you first import is the a post then open select add so we're going to select add here and okay so let me take it so this is our avatar here the next thing we we'll do is to morph this avatar here so we are going to go back to file import obj then we are going to select animate pose because this is the first frame of our alembic uh, working animation so the working animation file is on this um, mock-up folder right we need to morph it to that we need to morph it to the first frame So you can see the morphing is taking place. So the morphing is done. So the next thing we'll do is to delete this avatar. So delete this avatar again, then we'll go to file. We are going to go to import OBJ. Sorry import alembic since it's animation we want to import so import then alembic come in so inside this is it so inside this character folder there is a working animation there so this working animation and this this is the one i use for the mock-up here this t-shirt this is the one i use for the mock-up here so and this is one for the character so this is the working animation abc so open it add yes okay <clears throat> so now that our animation is set so let's go to our sorry simulation um animation sorry then okay the next thing we'll do here yeah, is already on animation table. If it's not on animation table, please just click on the drop down and select animation table. And what we'll do now is to animate it. So inside this mock-up design, you don't need to go to Mixamo to export to Blender. Everything has been prepared there, depending on how you want to use it. If you don't want to use the Blender mock-up I designed, the mock-up design, you can always also use the prepared um, t-shirt design on Clo3D. 
so that's the benefit of this mock-up design and if you have any question on how to use or you are facing any issue in using the mock-up design just let me know so let us just click on record so we are going to wait for it to finish um, recording so i'll skip this part so i can see the results So now that we are done recording, let's start from the beginning and let's play this. So this is the working, um, clothes working animation and this is the result. So you can decide to do anything with this. You can decide to render it on Clothe 3D. And if you want to learn how to render, just watch some of my video tutorials. You will learn how to render on Clothe 3D. So this is just how to use the character folder with the Clo 3D design. So thank you for purchasing my uh, mock-up design and stay tuned for more mock-up design. And if you have any question, just send me a mail or message me on Instagram. Thank you. And don't forget again to click on the subscribe button.